Chris from Alchemy Collective. Um, just wanted to give you a little update on our Kickstarter fundraiser. Um, we've only got a few days left and we're at about 70%, so it's going to be close, but I think we can do it. Uh, so if you've been thinking about donating, uh, now is the time. Because um, again, if we don't get all the way to the goal, then we get nothing. And then we have to start selling our organs to fund our business, so no pressure. Um, just wanted to show you some of the cool stuff that we have. This is the Alchemy, the official Alchemy shirt. You can be an alchemist. Printed on three sides. Uh, and this was designed and printed by us because we're multi-talented that way. And uh, this is our At The Local Sustain A Cup. Got our logo on it. Both sides. Also got a cap. We're traveling. And of course we have our invention, The Alchemist. I'm going to demonstrate how the alchemist works and how we make our coffee using the pour-over method. This is a pour-over stand. Um, so the alchemist is adjustable for different sizes of cups. Big thermos, little cup, and the ethyl system. Set that right in there. So first thing I'm going to do is wet the paper filter. This gets rid of the papery taste. And also heats up our cup a little. Good. Extra water reservoir. That's for when you're done brewing and it's still dripping. You can just take your cup out. Some freshly ground coffee. So, first step is just wetting the grounds. Get it started with the extraction. So for the first step, I'm just going to let that drain out. It should take about 20-30 seconds. Step two, I'm just going to pour it pretty much right in the middle there. Nice slow pour. This kettle is specially made for pour over coffee because it pours real slow and precise, but you can use different kettles. You can make like a tea kettle that has a small spout like this. basically in the middle uh, so that it goes all the way through all the grounds. You get a full extraction. Nice and even. You get burnt taste or under extraction. It's not going to be watery. Right in the sweet spot. It should be pretty fine. Uh, and how much coffee you use, depending on how big your cup is. The cup's about 12 ounces. The whole process should only take a couple minutes. By the way, this is a, this is a uh, Pario drip filter. We do not make this, but it will come with the uh, foam alchemy set. Delicious cup of coffee. So 
we just want to really thank everybody who's already contributed or even just offered moral support. Um, we couldn't have gotten this far without you. And um, yeah, if you're thinking about donating, do so. If you have no idea what we're talking about, there should be a link down there somewhere. And check us out. Thank you.